thought I'd do a little get ready with me as I introduce our video. Totally not our huge, but let's mix it up a bit. What do I need? Oh, hair oil. Hold please. If this is your first video, my name is Orly. This is the DIY designer. Super fun DIY fashion and sometimes home decor, personal style development, which is all about unlocking your unique style language, styling hacks, outfit ideas, all sorts of fun stuff. And as you can see, I'm clearly not a beauty influencer. So today's video I think is gonna be really fun. It's all about hair accessories. So these were all the different fun like hair accessories that I sort of pulled inspiration from. I loved the idea of creating like hair jewelry. I also did one of my favorite things, which is go through my DIY closets where I just have old stuff from old projects. We're gonna turn them into hair clips. I can't possibly do eyeliner and uh, mascara on camera. Cause again, not a beauty influencer. Okay, on to hair. I got a new toy. This is the Zuvi Halo. It's this like super high tech, incredible blow dryer, really compact. I just took it with me on a girl's trip. Everybody borrowed it and was like, I'm gonna need the link for that. It solves so many big annoying hair problems. It reduces drying time super fast. It increases the level of shine in your hair. It increases the level of moisture that your hair retains after you've dried it. It maintains the length of the color, which is super important if you're spending a lot of money on color like I am. Four different settings here that you can choose from when you turn it on. I pretty much always put mine on fast and multiple attachments, which are magnetic. Oh, the satisfaction of those noises. So when you turn it on, the light is gonna turn on and this is where the heat actually comes from. It's so cool. It's called their patented light care system and this is what makes all the difference with the Zuvi Halo. Basically, it's harnessing the power of nature. It's using wind and mimicking like the sunlight by evaporating the water off the hair instead of putting tremendous heat onto the hair. You can see the difference here between a regular dryer and the Zuvi light care. So you're gonna feel warmth, you're gonna feel heat, but it's actually evaporating it off of your hair. Now they wanted to prove it obviously, right? Like that this is the real deal. So they put it through rigorous testing, everything from the shine and the strength, color, 57% longer lasting color when you're using Zuvi, which is super important. And it won a million awards because of that, mentioned in a million magazines because of that. Now, normally when I blow dry my hair, I don't blow dry it all the way through, but I wanted to show you how fast it actually works. Fully, fully dry, under six minutes. I did not use a round brush. This is just, a rough dry. Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> okay, let's finish the styling. I just take little random pieces. I give it just a tiny bit of shape so that it's not so flat. You can do big chunks, you can do small chunks. If you guys don't know how to wave your hair with a flat iron, I cannot recommend it enough. It's the fastest way to give yourself a little bit of a wave. And the slower you go, the more tight the curl is. Just a little, give it a tiny bit more grit because it is so shiny. You almost need that little bit of grit. It's amazing and you need to own one. So head over to zuvilife.com. You can use my code orly 5 for an additional 5% off. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with materials. The first thing you need is just a bunch of bits and bobs that you can create your hair accessories with. So I grabbed a bunch of little headbands, some hair clips, barrettes, um, combs, all sorts of things that will work as a good base. And then I just robbed my own craft closet. I grabbed little pieces that weren't enough for a full fashion project, but were plenty to do hair accessories. I'm gonna use a combination of E6000 and hot glue and kind of decide which one's best for each project. Now, I thought this would be a really fun one to recreate, especially because I found these perfect little uh, rhinestones downtown with little pearls around them and I thought that they were perfect. Now you wanna create your design first. You kind of wanna pick your colors, pick your spacing, so that then when it's time to glue them, you can just add them on and all the decisions have been made. I really recommend on pretty much all of our headbands, leaving the last inch untouched so that you don't end up with a rhinestone right behind your ear. Once you've decided on your placement, add glue to the entire rhinestone, including the little edges where the pearls are so that the entire thing lays flat and it doesn't look like it's coming apart. You're gonna line them up exactly like you had planned and I would give one side about a half an hour to dry. Once it's time to move to the next side, you really wanna make sure you're matching your first side. So the first side, you always have the flexibility to create any design that you want. But once that first side is done, you really wanna kinda watch both sides and make sure that you're keeping it even. This is the finished result and I love it. I think like a black turtleneck and a little mini skirt, like a leather mini skirt would be so cute for holiday. You could customize the colors, anything that you want that's gonna speak your unique style language, but I think this is beautiful for holiday and I love it. All right, next up, I had this fringe trim. I really only had about 10 inches of it, maybe a little more, maybe 12. It wasn't enough to do a whole project, but of course it was in great shape, so I've saved it. 
I'm grabbing a comb, just a regular clear comb. And for this first version, I did hot glue. After putting it on, I realized that the hot glue was sort of visible. I didn't really love the way it looked. So I used it as an opportunity to fix it in even a better way. I'm gonna use E6000 and I'm gonna double it up. So instead of just one row of the crystal fringe, I'm gonna have two rows. I'm gonna stack them a little bit so that it has a slight stacked effect on the bottom and it's gonna clean up the top so that none of the comb is visible. With E6000, you wanna give it a little bit more time to set up, but look at how awesome it looks. The movement is so cool. I just clipped my hair with bobby pins into a half up, half down and stuck it in. Then I tried doing like a French twist and doing it vertically directly into the French twist and it looked so cool. Such a fun piece, so many options for the ways that you can style it. So much sparkle, such good weight. Huge fan, and it took me all of 60 seconds to complete. Next up, this is actually one of my favorites. I love the idea of creating like hair jewelry, something that you can just attach onto an already existing clip that you own. So I ended up buying a, like a chain detail that I wanna make custom. So to do that, you're gonna open a jump ring, you're gonna slide the chain onto one side and the lobster clasp onto another and then close the jump ring. This is just like basic jewelry making skills, right? A jump ring connects the clasp to the chain. Then that will just attach directly onto our clip. So you wanna make it on both sides so that it can attach on the right and left. So the first one was maybe about eight inches long, maybe a little longer. Now you're gonna create your design. You're just gonna layer it and stack it however you want, making each one gradually longer. The design of this, the level of this, the amount of pieces is all up to you. But basically you're gonna reopen that jump ring and you're gonna drop all three of the chains onto it and then close it. Now you just hook it directly onto your banana clip. Look at how cool that looks. This is an awesome thing that you can do with an old necklace. All you have to do is attach a lobster clasp to the other side of the necklace so that there's two and you can pop this on. This could be used as boot chains. This could be used as a necklace. This could be attached to a collar of a t-shirt. Such a fun piece, but I absolutely love this and it is one of my favorites of the day. Alrighty, next up, another headband. This is a velvet headband, and I just wanted to show you like a simple trim, one long trim. These pieces don't need to be glued on separately like our first one. You really just wanna cut it to length. So again, I took it and cut it to length, making sure that I avoided the area right behind my ears, so about an inch on each side. And now I'm adding my E6000 to the center. Anytime you're doing this, I recommend starting with the middle. That way you're guaranteed to be even on your right and left. If you start with the first one, which is sometimes the instinct, and then you lay it down, sometimes what can happen is you weren't perfectly centered. And so you end up with more of the pearl trim on the right versus the left. So by starting in the center, that's gonna make sure that you're even. Now, E6000 is insanely strong, but it does take longer to set up. So I would recommend using a little painter's tape to keep things centered and in place so that you can move on to the next side of it and complete the entire thing in one sitting. Now you can't see the sparkle on this, which is such a bummer because it's so pretty. It's got these little pave rhinestones right around the pearl. And it just has this really cool, like vintage, romantic, feminine effect. I think it is so pretty. It's so easy. It took 10 seconds to do and it instantly elevated it. Now this is another fun one. This was a trim that I don't even remember why I bought it, but I think I thought maybe I would do it on like the shoulder of a jacket, like an epaulette, but it's just two pieces. It's solid all the way about maybe three quarters down and then it becomes fringy. So for this, because the headband is velvet and it's a little bit gritty, I'm using hot glue. I'm giving it a try. Two shiny things don't work great on hot glue, but if one side's a little fuzzy, it holds really well. When you're gluing something like this, you'll see there's solid areas and open areas. You really want to apply to the glue only to the solid areas so that when you press it down, you're not gonna see any of the glue through the other side. It'll be apparent your own trim will be specific to you, but I just attached it, left the bottom loose, so it looks almost like I've got these really long fringe earrings. It looks so good. I am so in love with this one. The weight of it feels amazing. It's just like a rhinestone headband with fringe earrings or something. It's super, super cool. So keep your eye out for cool trims anywhere that you can find them. Etsy is a great place, some fun stuff on Amazon. So just keep an eye out. All right, next up, this is an applique that I bought for a jacket. I originally planned on doing two of these on the shoulder so that it would be like a rhinestone fringe shoulder. I never did the DIY, but of course I saved them and I thought, holy guacamole. If I just attach this to a couple of little combs, this could be like an epic hairpiece. When you see it on, wait until you see it. Imagine a veil attached to this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So really, again, because this had a little bit of like a, a fabric backing, I thought um, 
uh, what am I saying here? Hot glue. <laughs> I thought a hot glue would be a good option for this. And it worked out really great, super strong. So that worked really well. I'm adding a little hot glue to each one just across the top of each of the combs and then anchoring them onto the edge so that it'll clip in. So all I did is threw my hair in like a low messy bun and then clipped it on. This is such a cool piece. This is so epic. There's all different colors. You could do any kind of contrast color that goes with any dress. It felt super secure. The clips held it in place, kept it flat, wrapped it around. But I mean, I'm sorry, imagine a veil on this. I'm just saying it's epic and it took no time at all. Now, this is where I had a million of these little pieces. These were left over from projects and I just thought, I'm gonna cut little little parts, I'm gonna use the leftover comb, I'm gonna add them on and just see how it comes out. This is why I want you guys to raid your own closet. You barely need anything. Like literally these two tiny pieces and it's done. It looks so pretty. It's such a cool way to elevate a simple ponytail, a simple messy bun, because it clips right in, providing such a intentional detail, a special detail to the most basic of outfits. And it took no time and no money to do. Now, this was another one of my favorites. This is gonna be very like Dolce & Gabbana-ish. I basically bought two yards of a scalloped trim. This is scalloped on both edges and that's really important. You're just gonna tie a bow, one big bow with two super long tails. Take your time making sure that the bow is even and flattering and pretty, and then just take one of these clips and that's it. No glue, no nothing. It's not permanent. You can untie it and use this for something else down the road. I cut the two tails into a point and then I just clipped it right into my hair. So I put my hair in a half up, half down so that it was being held with pins. And then I just clipped this right into the top of it. So it hides the pins. It is really feminine, a little goth, really like major. Like it's not a tiny little bow. It's a long all the way down to my mid waist bow. And it is beautiful. I really love this one and I highly recommend it. All right, this is another one. This, if you are a, uh, you know, teen of the 2000s, that you'll remember these, the little zigzag hair clips that pulled your hair back. And I thought, how fun would it be to add a little trim so that the zigzag is actually more intentional? This one was not that easy. And that is because I knew I needed E6000 and E6000 takes a long time to set up. And I was kind of needing to like balance it before any of it was dry. So I kept needing to kind of hold it, finagle it, move it. It took a little time to do it, but it does end up working. So if you like this idea, just be patient. Just take your time, hold it down, watch TV, give it a couple of minutes for each little one to set up and then give it the 24 hours to fully dry. And then voila, it's like this little soft zigzag S-curve. It's so pretty, it sparkles in such a beautiful way. It creates really cool detail in your hair because it gives that combed effect. Hair up, hair down, it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna add something special, right? That's the goal with all of these. A simple little detail that with your most basic outfit is gonna transform it for the holidays so you don't need a whole new wardrobe. Now, a, a couple of disclaimers here. This is my least favorite, and I also modeled it backwards by accident. I thought it would be cool to add a trim into a knotted headband. I'm not a huge fan of the knotted headbands. They're a little preppy for my style, but I know that it's a huge trend. People love them. And so I thought maybe you would enjoy this. I'm taking an iridescent trim and I'm tucking it inside of the knot. That way you don't see where it comes from. It's gonna look like it's going all the way across. I glued the entire thing down. Now, what I decided to do was glue it a little closer to one side than the other. And you can see I modeled it backwards. I wanted the rhinestone trim in the front. I threw it on quickly, ran outside, started filming it, and didn't realize until I looked back at the footage that the trim part is in the back, which was the opposite of what I wanted, but you get the idea. Now, this is an old one that I did, and I'm just showing it to you. It's a long trim that I added to one of these ponytails, right? You can get the sense of it. Glue, add it, that's it. Now, I wish that my hair hadn't been waved because I think this actually would have looked a lot cooler if I had had like a super slick tube-like ponytail for this to wrap around, but you can see how beautiful it is. I mean, it's really cool. It's a big impact. You can do any length that you want. You guys, this is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Keep in mind all of the ways that you can transform simple accessories for the holidays and have some fun. I'll see you next week.